Hello and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube. And welcome back to my UAB Blazes Dynasty here in NCAA 13. Well, this is week 6 of, of in the 2014 season. And we have a tough test here. The 3-0 UAB Blazers taking on the Central Florida Knights. Who blew us out last time. And now this is a good chance to play some revenge. As we are 3-0. Your last episode, we upset East Carolina. Hopefully, in this episode, we could probably pull off the upset of the century of beating Central Florida on their home turf. I am the offensive coordinator in my last year contract at UAB. And we have probably the best quarterback ever in Paul Matthews. So, here we go. Let's get started. So here we go. Here we go as we take on SCF and there's there there they are again. Hopefully we get to play the role of spoiler as they we pull off the upset of the century here. In Orlando, apparently. Got that right. So here we go. We got, and we win the toss. Nice. So here we go. We are underway against Central Florida. Hopefully this time we get to pull off the victory just like we did against East Carolina. So here you see Paul Matthews. And boy, is he nervous. He gives it to Quinton Pearson. Quinton Pearson. Wow. Good work, my man. And that's it. An eight-yard gain. It helps to your update. Time for a drink. Wow, a one and three team just beat an undefeated team. Wow, how about them apples? So here we go. Let's have a misdirection here. So here we go. As Paul Matthews is nervous, because this is the first true road game here, and there's Quentin Pearson. He gets it in there first down, and now it's time for me to show the injury report here for you people. And as you can see, no one is injured on this team. Well, the left tackle, Brant Brooks Jones, he's out two weeks with a broken finger. And now it is time for me to show you this stadium. As you can see right over there, those are our main fan base. And right over there, that's their scoreboard. Here at Bright House Stadium in Orlando. Here in Orlando. Home of the Knights, you got that right. And there you see their only school championship, conference championship 2007. And I think that I, they won last year's too, so they haven't updated that. So. For a good reason. So now we're going to try a pass play here to see how Matthews does here. To see how he does against South Florida, Central Florida. And there you see and now and already he's off to a terrible start. 
sorry we have to interrupt you there because I didn't show you the end zones. See? That's at night, although if you watch the actual full game, it says UCF on there. So there you see. So we got a four verticals here, and he is still nervous as heck. And there you see a nice throw to Britt. And Britt, baby! First down, UAB! Nice job. So here we go, Paul Matthews again. He will give it to Quentin Pearson. He breaks through the defense. He gets it in there for the first down. So Paul Matthews gets into Quentin Pearson. This time they stop him for a no gain. Here we go, PA boot. Quinn Pearson. Well, here we go. Gets it to Tucker. Touchdown, UAB! And the Blazers strike first. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I see. I think they're going to reverse it. So Central Florida saying, ha ha, one more, you got to get one more try. Yeah, I expect it to be overturned. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. At least an over. I'm expecting an overturn. Yes. Oh, and the fans are like, oh, what, boo. So that, that's only an excuse to give Central Florida. And there's Quinn Pearson, and there we go. There's the touchdown. And Quinn is saying, are you there? We did it correctly this time. Are you happy? So it is 6 nothing, and uh, their defense is starting to show. So here we go, Paul Matthews. Gets to Quinn Pearson. Pearson gets a five yard gain. And so here we go. Paul Matthews gets it to Quinn Pearson. Pearson gets a one yard gain. And so far, this has not been a tough. This has been a tough game so far. So Quinn Pearson is trying to figure out his identity here. So here we go as I see Quinn Pearson give it to Carroll first down. So here we go, Paul Matthews hands it off to Quinn Pearson and ooh, -hoo, got nailed there. Boom! Nailed! And there you see Thomas gets it in there, third down. Trying to do a cross bucket. Pearson got the wind knocked out of him, so he will be back. So here we go. There you see Thomas. He failed, and just like that, Central Florida's going to take the lead, or not. Or not. So here we go. Paul Matthews will hand the ball off to Quinn Pearson, and he avoids the defense, and that's a first down. Good job. And oh, studio update time for a drink. So Quinn Pearson is showing that the Knights here in Central Florida, the Golden Knights, excuse me, that he has improved since, since Dante Jones was out. So here we go, Quinn Pearson. 
Yes, here we go. Four vertical play here, and now you see a nice throw to Brooks. Gets it in there for the first down. Nice job, boys. As this has been a tough contest all day long. So here we go. Paul man gives it to Quinn Pearson. Pearson gets the first down, and it's also a first and goal opportunity. A nice job, boys. There you go, Paul Matthews will give it to Thomas, and boy, that change of pace definitely screwed Paul Matthews right there. So here we go, four verticals one more time. And see we see, and we're looking at a big one here. Brooks, touchdown, Blazers! That's a great catch right there. Paul Matthews, he's been on a roll as of late and oh wow this is big right here for central for uab because they could knock off another top 25 team right here and there you see a nice throw to tucker and that's an eight yard gain on that pass and there you see paul there you see paul matthews stats so far so this is big right here so here we go Paul Matthews giving it to Quinn Pearson. Gets a third in inches. There's see Quinn Pearson, and that's a, what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We got no gain. Are you kidding me? Wait a second, it's the game trolling me. I see a nice throw to Brooks and a first down. This this game has so far been mostly UAV, so but the probably the most th interesting thing is that most of this game Everyone is saying Central Florida is going to win this one, but judging by the fans' reaction, judging by the score right now, they are probably saying UAB may be the surprise team of the of the of Conference USA at this point. There you see a nice throw to Paul Matthews, gives it an oh no interception. Dun 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 dun. dun. So there we go, and that is now, and once again, they're failing, so this could be big for an advantage here for Central Florida. For UAB, excuse me, I keep saying Central Florida. Jeez, I gotta stop thinking about Orlando. And there's Derek Herring, his first catch of the day, and it's a second and one. That's big right there for this team. So here we go, Central Florida, and there's Quinn Pearson. Get it in there, first down for the Blazers. There you see Quinn, there's, there's Quinn's stats. And what play did I just choose? Oh crap, expect a loss of yards right here. Yep, we lost, th okay, three, that's not, okay, we lost three, so that's terrible. So our defense is starting to be relentless for this South Florida team. As there you see a good throw. Are you kidding me? Another pick. Oh, yeah. What is, what's what is with this team? Um, wait a second. Is the game trolling? Oh, my God. This is turning into an exciting game. One team will lose. If it's us, our undefeated, our winning streak dating to last season will come to an end. And also, our chance of us are going undefeated will die as well. And there you see it, and there you see the defense starting to be powerful. And now at this point, the sports center is saying are probably taking South Florida, Central Florida off. Central Florida off the upset alert, but uh-uh-uh, not so fast. Paul Matthews is saying not 
don't count us out yet. We can pull this off. And there's a two yard gain. So Quinn is starting to get under control here. So we got to think of something past. Here. And we're going to go curls. And hopefully Paul does really well. There you see a nice throw to Carroll. First down. Oh boy, here comes Thomas again. So let's see how Thomas does here. And oh, not bad. Six yards. So Sean Thomas is doing a good job. And uh oh, he's back out there again. And there you see Amini gets it in there for the first down. Good work. And the Blazer fans, they are ecstatic to see that happen. Knowing that, that this play is huge. And oh, look who's back for the mid draw is Quinn Pearson. And boy, and he did a good job, and that's a first down. And right now, ESPN is saying they're keeping a close eyes on this one because boy, would it be shocking if UAB. Stuns the nation yet again. And Thomas has back spasms, so, but basically the backup, so who cares? We're gonna lead again, do the lead draw again here, but basically it's Gwyn Pearson. So this is big. And there you see Quinn Pearson. Can he get into the end zone? Yes, he can. Touchdown, Blazers. And UAB and the Blazer fans, they are loving it. Yes, we could be going 4-0 this season, but the fans are saying 3-1. Wait a second. Did they miss the kick? Or did they just go two goal? And of course, I chose the wrong play again. Well, we got a no gain on that one, but it still counts as a lost play, so. So this could be big right here. All we got to do is kill the clock and make, making good plays. Uh, and if we, if we do that, this team will pull off another upset. And boy, that's what this school wants, back-to-back -back upsets. So here we go, ISO time. And there you see Quinn Pearson doing a good job. And uh oh. I'll uh, pause here. Okay, Win and he we lost five. Okay. So we gotta do a third down here. Oh time out here. So right now Central Florida say, okay, we're down by one. What are we gonna do? And there you see Quinn Piercing trying to get it in there. He does! First down UAB. And the Golden Knight is saying, oh dang it. And now the UAB fans, they're starting to realize that this could be something very special here. And there you see Quinn, and this could just about do it. So this is big right here for Central Florida. If they score for UAB, they need to score. Central Florida needs to stop on this to end this drive, and it looks like it is most likely not going to happen. It looks like at this point UAB will be pulling away with their second consecutive upset. 
And there's Quinn Pearson, first and goal. And the Blazers on the bench, there they know they got this in the bag. And boy, they know, looking at the top 25 next week. And who is worthy to get the last touchdown? None other than Sean Thomas. So it looks like things could be wrapped up. And yes, we got it locked up. So there's only one thing left to do. And that is probably get ready to go victory formation. As UAB in a very close contest will, will win their fourth game of the season. And yet, and the Blazers pull off their second straight upset. Last week it was the 25th ranked East Carolina. And now the Blazers have upset the 15th ranked Central Florida Golden Knights. The Blazers win! Oh my god, what? And the Blazer fans who came from Birmingham, they are ecstatic as the Blazer, as they stun the nation yet again, and they know this is a team not to mess with this year. And boy, that was a big victory for this team. For a narrow escape, they narrowly got the upset. The Blazers are stunning this nation. They are 4-0. and Looking at the contract feedback saying they beat a higher ranked team. Dang, yeah. Now the, now the voters are probably thinking, okay. Okay, the game against East Carolina, that was a fluke. Not this time. Looking at Thomas Boyd here, trying to make sure if we can actually See if we can get him to come to this campus. And our performance is starting to show. Looking at fullbacks here, looking at John Johnson here, yet again here, as you can see. Conference accountability, we're making a pitch for that. We'll make freshman all American, but chances are I will be gone I may be gone at this point. But that's still it's still early, so and look at that. Johnson is a soft commit. And looking at John Paul Miller, see if we can get him here. But before we do we gotta scout him. There we go. As so there you see we screw Syracuse multiple times. And now it's time to scout him here for 40 minutes. Let's see how he does. Oh, his PC vision went up. And oh boy. And it looks like he's a 67 overall. I'll get out of guard. Looking at John Nicholson, so we're going to remove him since he's a bust. Looking at Kyle Smart here to see he's really not for here, so we're going to eventually screw him there. Solid playing time, which we're going to be good. And that is big right there. Okay, so I think that's enough of the recruiting. We're going to do more tomorrow. And chances are we could be getting closer to a potential rank here. So next we got Houston. And oh boy, that Houston would love to knock us off after last year's debacle. But now ESPN is calling us the Cinderella team in college football. 4-0. A great job by all the players being led by Paul Matthews. We pulled off an upset at home and we pulled off an upset on the road. What else is there left to do?
as we're entering week seven and already our chances of getting into a big bowl game are as good. So here we go, on to Houston. Collecting stories for a studio update. Oh, and John Johnson has decided to commit to UAB. So that was a big win right there. And just like that, the Blazers are finally ranked. 18. So now, it is official. We are ranked in the top 25. So I guess that upset against East Carolina was good enough to get them ranked. And speaking of which, look what happened. The number two ranked team in the nation, Georgia, they fell. The number three ranked team in the nation, they also fell. So that means TCU is your number two ranked team in the nation. Texas is your new number three. Virginia's number four. USC's number five. As we take a look at the top 25, you can pause the video and see where your favorite team is. Oh my god. Ooh, Boise State dropped to 14. And Central Florida, just when you thought you could bar they barely drop, they dropped to 20 seconds. So that's not a big drop. Well, meanwhile, Bowling Green, Northwestern, and Oklahoma dropped out. Give them a nice round of applause. Take a look at the conference standings as UAB is in first place. How awesome is that? Taking a look at the Heisman watch, as you can see, Bo O'Brien is still in the lead. Well, Dave Brooks, Orlando Rogers, Practic Francis, and... Aaron Sharp or or taking a look here and ouch look at next season we are on the rise the future is bright here time for the players of the week as you can see Barry Barrett Barry Barry Barrett of Texas Tech is your Offensive Player of the Week for the entire NCAA, Well, DeAndre Strickland is your Defensive Player for the NCAA Player of the Week. Take a look at Conference USA, and once again, the running theme, even though we're ranked 18th in the nation. Ooh, so I guess that counts an exception. Pete Tyson of Tulsa is your Player of the Week, Offensive Player of the Week. Well, Russell Tremblay of Houston, we gotta watch out for him. Is your defensive player of the week. So with that, I think this should just about wrap up this episode. Come back next time as the Blazers, or should I say the 18th ranked Blazers, take on the Houston Cougars and hopefully go for a straight victory. See ya.